What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Morgan here at Morgan Oko Gaming, back with uh, episode 19 of our Sword and Shield uh, versus Nuzlocke with our good friend Joe Zamora from Zamora Gaming. Tell him how you're doing, Joe. Hey, everybody, this is Zamora with Zamora Gaming here, and we are about to try and finish off this uh, playthrough today. 3, 2, 1, go. Nope. You sound tired. Uh, I gotta be quiet. There's someone sleeping. No, uh, no. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this done. Uh, I was fishing earlier today. Didn't catch nothing, though. Oh, uh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Is it hot as a balls in Texas right now? No, it's actually a really nice day. I thought it was fuck here. I forgot. I forgot what the hell we were doing. Hmm, okay. Oh, I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> uh, you don't remember what you're doing? Nope. It says me peers in front of a hotel, but I don't know what hotel. Oh. I haven't been able to get anybody to sign up for the last two tournaments we've been in, which I've been odd. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is either. Because, I mean, like, drafts and stuff are doing fine. Your giveaway did really well. Yeah, people really like that little group we got. No, the little group of Pokemon I gave away. Oh, man. Now we gotta deal with this storyline. It's not really a storyline. Oh. Oh, shit. Drake result just lost a life. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't fucking realize I went into it, because I mean, I haven't played in weeks, I didn't realize how close he was to down. God damn, that sucks. How many lives are left? One. Mm -hmm. You know, everything I have is fully, fully healed. God. So, are you doing the story already? Are you in the story already? Yeah, yeah. So, what have you been up to with all your gaming on your channel? Um... I started in an uh, Injustice 2 playthrough today, which I, I mean, I already beat that game, but my son wanted to play it, and it, I don't know, we kind of stumbled into it. I've been playing Minecraft lately, I've been playing Doom, um, yeah, that's about it. Sounds interesting enough. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. Nine more. Mm -hmm. What are you what are you doing in yours? Doing anything else? Oh no, just Pokemon for now. Um trying to do some more of that uh, other playthrough of the Thanos lock, trying to finish that before I post it. Didn't you say you were gonna start doing like Madden? Yeah, still trying to get everything set up to do that too. Do you ever play online? Yeah, I play online every now and then. But it's hard to play online because people like to cheese. They do nano blitzings. Do what? They, they like to cheat and they do nano blitzings and, and stuff like that. Basically, oh. what that is is they have a certain way they set up the defense. So as soon as you hike the ball, they can just break through the line and sack your quarterback. Like, Inter is it like second. something that something that wouldn't be possible in real life or something? Yeah, I mean, they, it had to be like perfect situation, and they do it every play, and it's like, yeah, it's unrealistic. Huh. What the hell? I don't know how to. I don't. What am I doing here? 
What town are you in? Uh, I'm in the right town. I just can't find the guy I'm supposed to be looking for. Because you're supposed to be looking for the bad guy. I can't find him. Are you mean like the people you're supposed to be finding the looking for all the people in the lot? You know how no the the bad uh, Pokemon League guy. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, you had to have done have it. You, have you already found all the? Have you already found all the people? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you already found all the people who, like hiding in the fucking things? No, that's what I'm looking for. Are you talking about Rose? You're looking for Rose? I'm looking for the bad judges. The, the Pokemon contest guys. The one that wear the black and white jumpsuits. I don't know what the you're talking about. The four, the four guys that you're walking around looking for? Yes. Yeah, that's what I've been saying the whole time. You're yeah. looking for the guys. Yeah, I'm, that's what yeah, I'm saying Yeah, I've already found all these things. Yeah, you're saying it in a extremely odd way. Well, that's what they are. They're the Pokemon trainer guys. The Pokemon trainer guys. I don't know. I thought they were the... I don't know. They look like Team Yell to me. I don't know. Hmm. Can't find them. Oh, there we go. Can I can find all the good ones, but I can't find the bad one. Oh, there we go. Found them. <laughs> that was fucking irritating. So how far are you in right now? Into this? Yeah. I am, I've just got through what you're doing. <laughs> we might have to split this into two episodes, because I think we still got to do the tournament again. Yeah, you've still got, like, two matches left in the tournament, I believe. I'm good with that, though. An even 20 episodes sounds better than 19 to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> X scissor, god damn it. I'm fine. I don't know why I said god damn it. <laughs> Who did Dracozolt lose a life to? It was, uh, he only had like seven hit points. I don't know what it was. I didn't know that he had, I didn't look at his health bar before I acted. Hmm. So. Up. I need you to do it one more time since it has one more life left. <laughs> no, no, I'm back in the swing. I should have fucking killed your Venusaur. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yep. I shouldn't have listened. I should have killed it. I should have killed the <laughs> fuck out of it. <laughs> I thought, I mean, I don't want to bring back gyms, and then, and then they got rid of, like, the traditional Pokemon League. I think a tournament would have cool, been cool before Pokemon League. Yeah. Like, you could have done a tournament and win an actual Pokemon League. Yeah, you would think they would have thought ahead, but they didn't. Like, they could have added that with the DLC. Yeah. 
I enjoyed the DLC. They could have been like, oh yeah, you're the you're the tournament winner, but now you have to become the champion. And then like have like four of the top trainers here. Like actually have Rose be something. I don't know. They could have done something with it. You are a button clicker. You, you sound like playing Mortal Kombat right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to click the button over and over again. It's always been the way I played. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Alright, where the fuck is this dude running off to now? Oh, there he is. Why do I have to keep battling the same dude? You should only have six Pokemon. <clears throat> so how's the band thing going? Really good. We're about to drop our first song tomorrow. We're doing like an anonymous thing so nobody knows who we are. Uh, it's that page I, I invited you to, Sidious. Yeah. So if, like, you saw, I mean, we're just, like, teasing stuff right now. We put up the song teaser, and then we've been putting up, like, our logo and artwork and stuff. But uh, tomorrow we're releasing the first track off our EP. So, but it's it's anonymous. So everybody, like, around town is like, well, who is it? Nobody knows who it is. So it's, and it's kind of like a super band thing. It's a bunch of people from different bands that were, like, popular bands around here that have, like, made a band. So... Okay, so yeah, it, like, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So it's like a third band kind of thing that you're doing. Isn't yeah, just... it's a third one. Well, it's a second one. I quit that one that I'm in. I, I, I've been in one that I've been. I'm. I, I don't know. It's been like six years, and then I had another one which I quit. That's not a band anymore. Hmm. And then now I'm in this one. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm excited about it. It's been like the most organized project I've ever been a part of. Yeah, it's pretty legit too since you have the Facebook group and all that stuff. Yeah. I, I went recently on vacation. I'm not ready to go work tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that where you went before? What did you all do? Well, for the 4th, we went to Austin to go see my grandma, so we popped fireworks and stuff. And that was awesome. No one lost a finger, so we're good. Yeah. Then, um... The next day, we went to this Brazilian steakhouse where they have, like, unlimited... Uh, like a buffet of just meat, like steak and chicken and stuff like that. And I ate, yeah. like, my own weight and meat, so I was full as hell. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the next... I've never had Brazilian food. Well, it's not really Brazilian food. It's just like a... It's just called a Brazilian steakhouse because they have certain entrees that are Brazilian, like a fried bananas and well caramelized bananas and shit like that but yeah. they also do this thing where if you pay so much money and it's a lot of money that you can just they'll they'll have people that come out with like meat on skewers and they'll just be like do you want some of this and you're like yes and then they'll cut a piece off and put it on your plate hmm. it's expensive but if you eat if you uh Eat your own weight in food, it's worth it. I ate like... Yeah. I basically ate like... Three eight-ounce steaks and... Like two sausages and... I ate a lot. I, uh... When I go on vacation, I pretty much just spend whatever I... I mean, I eat whatever I want. I don't really worry about it. Like I said, I bring enough money to not worry about it. Because, like, that's the only time that I'll do that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's basically what you would have to do to go to this kind of place. Because it was expensive. And it was just for me and my wife. But it was worth it, I think. So. And then uh, after that, we went to like the caverns the next day. So we went yeah. underground and checked all that shit out. It was cool. But it was tiring. It was a shitload of walking. And we were there for like four, four or five hours. Then we went back to the hotel and took a nap. And then later that night, we went to uh, this haunted, uh, what do you call it? Haunted tour. It was like a haunted bus ride. So we went to all these different places oh, in cool. San Antonio that were haunted. That's cool spot. Yeah, it was dope. We learned a lot. My wife really enjoyed it. Oh yeah, that's cool. We don't have anything like that here, I don't think. Is there that many haunted places in San Antonio? I mean, yeah. I mean, there's plenty of places everywhere if you look. Uh, San Antonio, uh, basically what they did was they gave us like a little history thing from like the graveyard. So basically it was more history than anything. And then, uh, there was oh, that's this, cool. There was this hotel that's supposedly haunted. And my wife, apparently, uh, she seemed to have gotten something on one of her pictures that she took. Oh, really? Yeah. So, it's interesting. So, she's trying to either, she's like, I gotta debunk this because I don't want to think it's real and it not be real. Because she yeah. has two different pictures and they're, they're at two different angles. So, she's like, I don't know, because it's the same person that you can tell. But she's like, it kind of looks like it's at a different angle. But then again, I don't know if it is. So I don't know if it's something they put there or something. But I was like, I was looking at all the windows. Because that's the first thing you look for at a haunted anything. Yeah. And I didn't see nothing put in the windows. So I'm sure that's like legit. She caught something. Huh. Where was the place that she did that? It was called the Manger Hotel. Was it like a big hotel? Yeah, it, it was decent size, but apparently it's been there since like the 1880s. Was it dirty? No, it looked real nice. Really? Yeah. Do people still stay there? Yeah, people do stay there and it's expensive. <laughs> hmm. But like, there's a... What was it haunted? Huh? What, what was the story behind it? Why was it haunted? Well, uh, certain people died in there. And stuff like there's this one dude who uh, he liked the manger hotel so much that uh, he would stay there like he he bought a room to like be permanently his yeah so every time he was in town he'd stay there and then once he had cancer he just moved there and died there huh. so apparently his ghost haunts around there and then the picture I think my wife got is like, uh, apparently there was a maid who uh, had an abusive husband and she, like when he, he was drunk one day and shot her and she like ran out of the house and then he shot her like two more times and she somehow survived and made her way to the hotel and she died there. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. apparently so there might be something to do that. Yeah, and they said uh, that apparently she worked there for like 15 years before she died there. So, it's interesting. And then uh, apparently, the, we went to this other place where there was like a brothel. And there was some stuff going on there. Like, it's abandoned right now, but apparently, like, back in the day, after it was a brothel, the church bought it and made it into, like, a, a home. For, yeah. Like, foster kids, and then it was abandoned after that again. And now the city of, the city of San Antonio is going to buy it to turn it into a dorm for one of the new branches of... Set uh, beauty of San Antonio. 
So so it's a haunted place and people they're gonna build dorms there? Mm-hmm. Well that's interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be weird. But I'm sure they're not gonna tell him it's haunted. People are crazy, man. They're crazy. And then uh there was this other hotel we went to and supposedly there was this like mentally ill guy he stayed at yeah. a, he asked for a specific hotel room and he stayed there for like a week and every day there was a party just party and party and party and then like the last day there was no noise or nothing so they thought he checked out without telling anyone yeah and the maid that went in uh saw him and he had this, uh, he had cut the limbs and the torso off this woman. And the lady just like froze up and he grabbed the torso and the head and ran out the window. And like killed himself? No, no, he got away. And then a week later, he was using uh, the same checks he used before. And yeah. At a new hotel. But in 536 because uh, 636 was taken at the time he went there yeah. and they got there he was uh, he had shot himself in the head holy shit yeah and, and what year was that in that was like 1936 or something like that yeah dude you could get away with some crazy shit back then oh hell yeah no cameras or nothing so it's crazy the things people got away with back then and apparently, uh, he was trying to play it off like he was wealthy and shit, but he lived, like, in the basement of his mom and stepdad's house. When all that happened. I find all kinds of that shit, kind of shit, like, super interesting. Yeah, I like it. It was pretty cool. Was it expensive to do the tour? I think it was, like, uh, $50 a person, because it was the bus tour. Yeah. But they also have walking tours and stuff like that. That's not bad. Yeah, I'd do that. But yeah, I know there's some stuff in Tennessee my wife wants to go see. There's a bunch of haunted stuff over there. I know we have haunted shit, but I don't know if we have any haunted bus rides. Shit, if we do, I'm going to look into it now because if we do, I'm going to do that shit ASAP. No, I'm sure. There's probably like tours. It's probably just called haunted tours. But we did the bus ride to her. Yeah, my my girl don't watch like scary movies and shit though. I love horror films. She does not like them. Does she not like them, or does she think they're scary? They she just... thinks they're scary. She won't watch them. But she thinks they're scary. That's interesting. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't like ever watch anything like that. I think they're boring, most of them. But some of them are, but if you really some, like the good ones, aren't. I like being scared. Like I like adrenaline. I like to see if it could scare me. Like every now and then, so, a movie will make me jump, and I'm like, ah, oh, okay, that was a good one. Like, uh, I think it was the new It. I've never seen. I've never really seen the original. But the new the It. Original. Me and my wife went to go see it at the theater, and the garage scene made me jump. So yeah, like, yeah. Oh, that was good. <clears throat> oh man, jump! I mean, I'll jump. I'll get jump scared. That's fine. But I, I like like movies that like actually like. God damn, that was creepy as fuck. Shit like that. Oh, have you seen The Boy? No. Oh, it's on Netflix. You should watch it. The Boy. What's it about? So basically, it's about this little boy, and uh, so and then he uh, damn it. Here we go. It's about this little boy that when he was young, he died in a house fire. And basically, this doll showed up the next day after he died, and his parents treat it like it's him. And they hire this nanny to come take care of it while they go on vacation or something. It's, it's, I'm not Is trying to spoil doll it. Huh? 
Is the is it like a haunted doll then? Yeah, basically. But it's it's a there's a major twist, and I'm not gonna spoil it for you. So <laughs> it's actually one of the uh, Netflix movies actually worth watching. I like lots of it. Netflix movies. Like is so. it a, like a Netflix original? Uh, I think so. Interesting. I will check it out. But it's really good. Like, I've never... I, I don't give scary movies that uh, a good credit most m most of the time just because most of them aren't good. But when they're good, I'm yeah. just like, yeah, that's I'd watch that again. And apparently Sweet. they're going to make a part two to it pretty soon, so... I will check it out. I might watch it tonight. And, uh, have you seen that new Chucky movie? No, but I heard the other day that, that it was good. That was one of the things, like, Chucky terrified me as a kid, dude. I fucking hated that thing. That, that one didn't scare me as much as, like, <coughs> Freddy. No, not Freddy Krueger. Jason. Jason scared me when I was younger. Yeah. Freddy Krueger scared me, too. I never really watched those movies. Did you watch the new Chucky? No, but my wife did, and she was like, it's awesome. Really? She, yeah, she told me it's a little different than the regular one. But I won't give you any details if you don't want them. I mean, I clearly um, won't spoil it, but... Yeah, go ahead and it to me. I don't care. I, don't, I mean, I'll watch it. I don't, I don't really watch horror movies for the plot. Child's play, there's no way that... I mean, tell me. Yeah, go ahead, tell me. <laughs> All right, so basically, uh, so you know how the original is a good guy doll? Yeah. So apparently this one's like a buddy doll. Instead, it's, They changed the name, so it's buddy doll. And All right. it's based off, like, you know, technology. So it's kind of like it learns your habits and stuff, and then it learns. But it has, like, yeah. a, a certain parental control, I guess. Where yeah. it, it won't learn bad things. So it, you can watch like scary stuff and all that and it won't copy those things. But it'll copy all the good things. Like if you like a certain song it'll learn that and play it and this and that. So I was like oh, okay that's cool. So apparently the basis of it is like there's this instead of it being possessed it's, yeah, it's not possessed? Yeah, it's not possessed. It's more someone got fired, they got mad, and took the parental lock off the off the doll. So the doll off, could learn off bad the things. Doll. Okay. Interesting. So it's that's, a, a, that's kind of cool. So it's a modern twist to it. But that's all I'm going to say, because if I say anything else, it'll spoil it for you. That is interesting. All right, so how did we say this was going to go? So whoever beats the the league first gets three points, and then whoever wins the last match gets nine points, right? That's what it was going to be? I believe so. All right. And then whoever so two, wins the battle after gets 16 points. So it could, you know. How the hell would it be 16 points? This is the final battle. I'm not doing that. That's dumb as hell. We never said 16 points. I would have objected to that. Let's keep it 9. 16 is... That would have made the whole point of the thing retarded. No, because we would we did it to where even if you're up um, like 16 to 0, you could still have a chance to win. I've never... We've never said that. I, I want to do 9. I, I'm not going to do 16. That's ridiculous. I mean, you agree to it, but that's fine. You don't have to. I never agreed to that. You, show me a timestamp. It's all on video. Yeah, go back and watch. I'm not watching. If you don't want to do it, I don't care. <laughs> well, no, I'm not doing 16. Again, I don't care. It's fine. I'm just trying to beat the smile tick real quick. Boom! Knocked it out. Oh, I am seven levels above it. 
God damn, this is a long... I hate that... I hate that break in the middle of the league. I think it's stupid. Yeah. Are you already doing the league again? Yeah, but I, the break in it is just... I don't understand the point of it. Okay. Are you almost done with that battle? Um, I'm at the league. I'm in the league. Back in the league now. Okay, because I'm almost done with this battle, and we're at 30 minutes, so we could probably break it after this and do the 20 episodes, so we can do yeah. that at an even 20. Yeah, we can do that. We are right at 30 minutes right now. Alright, I got one more Pokemon to destroy. Have you, have you finished anything on your channel yet? Uh, Did you say you haven't? No, I still haven't finished anything yet. But I've been recording some videos so I can play them out. I finally finished one. I didn't... I'm finally finished the Mortal Kombat playthrough, so this will be my second thing. Mm -hmm. I had something screw up on... Uh, the Thanos playthrough, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to re redeem that video, that playthrough. Why? Because of the cutoff videos? Yeah, there's a there was a video I did, and apparently it didn't record right. And I can cut the end off of it for you, but it would be easier for me to just tell you how to do it because you can do that on the the actual Elgato software, like in five seconds. <laughs> it's not hard at all. Well, I didn't record on the Elgato software. I've only recorded on the OBS. As long as you have, as long as you have the file of the video on your computer, you can edit it in that software. You don't have to have it recorded through. Whenever you record on OBS, it doesn't store it in OBS. It stores it on your computer. Hmm. I mean, it might store it in OBS, but it still stores it on your computer. All right. Well, anyway, that, uh, for now, that'll be the end of this episode, guys. So. Thank well, hang on, I'm still in the middle of the match. Oh, well then, let me keep playing then. Yeah, yeah, I'm still in the middle of this match. Yeah, give me a sec. Mm. I should be about done with it, though. Okay. I think, we, I think this next one should be his last one. We fight a Turnus right now, right? I don't think we fight Eternatus before we... No, Eternatus is uh, uh -oh. definitely... Eternatus is during the uh, the legendary thing, wherever you do the, the dumbass haircut dudes. Mm -hmm. but who we were also ridiculous. That shit was stupid as hell. But we fight Rose now, right? We do fight... I don't know. Well, I don't just, remember. You just did it. I didn't fight Rose, no. Oh, okay. No, you don't fight Rose. You fight his, uh, like, assistant or whatever she is. Right. And then you come back to the tournament. You're going to come fight Bead. And then I assume you fight Leon after this, unless there's some shit. I don't know. I don't remember having to leave the tournament twice. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. So dope. I know you do fight Rose, but I can't remember when. I want to say that that's before the Gigantamax side quest thing with the legendaries. I want to say that's during that. I can't remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, I'm going back to the stadium now. All right, yeah, just don't enter that match. I just beat his last one, so I'm going out right now. So as soon as I pop out of this, we will end it. I'm sure there's a little dialogue. Because oh we're just doing to to the end of the league, right? We're not going to do the legendary side quest, right? No, we're just trying to get to Leon and then do our final battle. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Cause I'm, a, I'm actually going to go through and do that because I want the legendary. I'm going to straight it over. All 
Alright, I'm good to go if you are. Alright. No, let me just right, get I'm out of dialogue and I'll be good. Okay, I'm good. Alright, well, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, come back next and it will be the conclusion with episode 20. Um, come, come cheer me to victory. It's gonna be, it's gonna be slick and it's gonna be strong and it's gonna be fucking ruthless. Now watch Morgan lose half his team to Leon. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. Alright, peace. Later.